हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस डिस्कस नॉटन्स थ्योरम प्रैक्टिकल इन नॉटन्स थ्योरम एज पर द डेफिनेशन एनी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सर्किट कैन बी रीड्रॉन एज अ सिंपलर सर्किट इन व्हिच वी हैव वन करंट सोर्स इन पैरेलल विद आर एन दैट इज नॉटन रेजिस्टेंस एंड इन पैरेलल विद आर एल लोड रेजिस्टेंस सो नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द प्रैक्टिकल दैट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म the practical first of all step number 1 so this is our circuit diagram vs is our supply voltage that is 5 volt 220 ohm 220 ohm 220 ohm three resistors we have used over here rl 1 kilo ohm resistance now in step number 1 we are supposed to calculate current il flowing through rl so this is our step number 1 il flowing through rl step number 2 as per step number 2 remove rl and calculate short circuit current so now as you can see it over here i have removed rl that is 1 kilo ohm resistance and now we are supposed to calculate in that is not an current short circuit current and by removing rl i have just connected an ammeter over here in series thus we will be able to calculate in that is norton current now let us talk about step number 3 in step number 3 you can have a look over here in step number 3 we are supposed to calculate rn that is norton resistance for that what i have done i have removed vs and short circuit i repeat remove vs and short circuit now this is what we have got as an arrangement so now let us calculate what is going to be rn have a look over here r1 is in parallel with r2 first of all why parallel because both the terminals are directly short circuited or i can say directly connected with each other thus parallel connection and then this parallel connection is in series with r3 because only one terminal is connected with each other so now let us calculate what is going to be the value we have r1 in parallel with r2 in series with r3 so the parallel combination comes out to be equal to 110 plus 220 finally rn comes out to be equal to 330 ohm so as per the color coding the resistance will have orange orange and brown till three colors and yes the fourth color can have any other value for example gold silver or maybe no color for the tolerance but the first three bands will be orange orange and brown so this is step number 3 the last step number 4 as per step number 4 in is in parallel with rn is in parallel with rl now let us see how to perform the practical for step number 4 in step number 4 right now we don't have any current source available so what we are supposed to do for we are going to calculate vn that means the respective voltage not in voltage that is sufficient to generate in so what we are supposed to do in this case vn that is a supply voltage will be connected in series with ammeter and the remaining connection will remain same that is in parallel with rn in parallel with rl now let us see how we are going to perform this we will adjust this voltage from the power supply till we are supposed to get in in this ammeter once we got in that we have calculated in step number 2 in this ammeter note down the voltage vn not an voltage after which the ammeter will be now connected in series with rl do not change this voltage vn whatsoever vn you have measured over here set over here do not change its value now so the last step is going to be the calculation of current flowing through rl so what are going to be the connections the positive of supply will be connected in parallel with rl then the series connection of ammeter and rl but ultimately in parallel with 
Vn. So what about the connections? Positive of Vn is connected with Rn and positive of ammeter. Negative of ammeter is connected with Rl. And finally, negative of supply is connected with Rn, Rl, both. Thus, you need to calculate IL, load current flowing through RL. Now, this IL current will match with our step number 1. That is the current flowing through RL. And both the current will match with each other. Hence, we are able to verify Norton's theorem practically. Let us design Norton's theorem. In Norton's theorem, first of all, the first circuit diagram that we are going to design 220 ohm resistance that is red, red and brown another 220 ohm resistance and the third 220 ohm resistance they all are connected together at a single terminal so all these three must be connected in a single column like this RL 1 kilo ohm Input supply positive with the first terminal of 220 ohm resistance and the negative where RL and 220 ohm resistors are connected together. So again we have a column wise connection. And finally ammeter, the positive of ammeter with 220 ohm resistance like this and the negative with RL. Let us set the input voltage to 5 volt. So we have got 1.8 milliampere IL, the first circuit diagram. Second circuit diagram is remove RL. So this is our RL, 1 kilo ohm. Remove RL and calculate short circuit current. So that means we are now supposed to calculate the current IN that is Norton current. So the Norton current comes out to be around 6 milliampere. Step number 2. Step number 3 is regarding RN Norton's equivalent resistance and that comes out to be equal to 330 ohm. What is 330 ohm? We have orange orange and brown so now let us discuss the fourth step now regarding this fourth step let me just show you the circuit diagram instead of current source we are going to use supply in series with ammeter so as to adjust that how much voltage is sufficient for im so let us design this first circuit diagram for that we require Rn, so Rn is our 330 ohm, this one. So you can have a look, positive of supply is connected with Rn, Rl, both. So let me just make this connection first. So that is positive of supply is connected with Rn, Rl, both. After which negative of supply is connected with negative of ammeter. So this is our negative of supply connected with negative of ammeter. Finally, positive of ammeter is again connected with R and RL both. So let me just complete this circuit diagram so that we can calculate how much Vn will be sufficient for generating In. So this is our circuit diagram, this first circuit diagram. So now let us adjust Vn so as to get In over here. Around we have got this I N okay so now the final circuit diagram now we have as already adjusted V N now we are not supposed to change this voltage now let us design the second circuit diagram for the calculation of I L so the second circuit diagram I L Positive of supply is connected with Rn and positive of ammeter. Negative of supply is connected with Rn, Rl both. So first of all, negative of supply is connected with Rn, Rl both. Whereas positive is connected with Rn 
and positive of ammeter. So let me remove RL first and connect ammeter in series. So series means positive of supply is connected with positive of ammeter and the negative of ammeter will be connected with RL. So you can have a look. We have approximately got the same amount of current as we have got in the first circuit diagram. Hence, Norton theorem has been proved. So this is how you are going to implement both the circuit diagrams to verify Norton's equivalent circuit.